year ago last Thursday, I was strolling in the zoo when I met a man who thought he knew the lot. He was laying down the law about the habits of baboons and the number of quills a porcupine has got. So I asked him, what's that creature there? He answered, oh, it's a helk. And I might have gone on thinking that was true. If the animal in question hadn't put that chap to shame and remarked, I hate to help, I'm a gnu. I'm a gnu, I'm a gnu. The nicest work of nature in the zoo. I'm a gnu, how do you do? You really ought to can know wahoo's wahoo. I'm a gnu. Spelled G-N-U, I'm not a camel or a kangaroo. So let me introduce, I'm good neither man nor moose. Oh, gano, 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 I'm a gano. I had taken furnished lodgings down at Rustington on Sea, whence I travelled on to Ashton under Lyme. And the second night I stayed there, I was wakened from a dream, which I'll tell you all about some other time. Among the hunting trophies on the wall above my bed, stuffed and mounted, was a face I thought I knew. A bison? No, it's not a bison. An okapi? Unlikely. Could it be a hearty beast? When I seem to hear a voice, I'm a gnu. I'm a gnu. A another gnu. I wish I could ganache my teeth at you. I'm a gnu. How do you do? You really ought to can know who's who. I'm a gnu. Spell G N U. Call me bison or a carpy and I'll sue. Nor am I in the least like that dreadful hearty beast. Oh, gano, 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 I'm a gano. Gano, 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 I'm a gano. Gano, 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 I'm a gano.